What's up guys, Cardock here, and today I'm here with another Next Edge style unboxing video. Today we'll be unboxing the Omegamon Alter S Next Edge. So let's open it. Last time we op opened the Dalesamon and Gallopmon was quite a while ago. So they're not actually releasing these super frequently. I guess I know why it's, Digimon is not at the top of the list for popular IP. So they're kind of taking their time and they're all making, making it all P Bandai because I'm guessing the regular releases don't sell well enough, but I don't know. They, to me, I think Digimon is in a really weird position for them right now. They, they don't make them a lot of money, but they make them money. So they, they're going to have to get, if they're going to have to figure out what, what to release as P-Band and whatnot. So here is the Alter S. It looks very, very cool. And it is, the box looks pretty, pretty nice. So we have different poses, and I'm pretty sure this is just uh, the Alter S version of the Omnimon. I'm not sure, I'm sure like the joints and stuff haven't really been improved, but the plastic mold is definitely different because the Omnimon, for the most part, the, the hands here, they're different. The armor on the shoulders are different. And I think, the feet have different molding as well. So if you guys have a look, we'll do, we'll do a deep comparison later. But yeah, that is the box. Very cool looking. And let's open this up and see what's inside. So I'm not expecting too many accessories, but that's okay. Omnimon is going to be Omnimon. So I'm going to buy all the Omnimons. Did they release an Ultra B or Merciful mode? Anybody, I'll probably buy them all. <laughs> I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. All right, so here is the Onimon Alter S. Let's see, his. Uh... All right, so his main body is a lot more white than I thought it would be. They do have the little paint, uh, the red and gold paint here, but the recesses here look kind of plain but that's okay I'm guessing it's because the, uh, the lighting the, my light box doesn't really show off the shadows so that is why all right let's have a look at the cape. so the cape is tattered unlike the original version so let's put this in Okay, so let's have a look at the articulation. So, front kick, 90 degrees, back kick, 15 degrees, side kick, I guess this is like a 45-ish, 30-ish to 30, 45 degree kick. So it's not, not really good splits. Arms, they can go all the way around. Both arms can go all the way around. The hands there are on the ball. Uh, is it ball? No, it's a, it's a peg. So you can spin 360 degrees, but uh, the little joint there will help you get a lot of angles. The Greymon head is a little weird though because the Greymon head has a lot more things on it so articulation wise it's a little bit more limited and also this side of it is also bigger and kind of blocks it sometimes so it's a little bit <laughs> the movement will be a little bit restricted all right ab crunch is there is no ab crunch head uh, joint there is a little bit you can get a little bit, little bit of head bobbing moving there and I'm not sure that's supposed to happen but there you go so that is the main figure with the cape the cape does have articulation as well it's just a peg so you can rotate 360 degrees and this one is flappable 
So it looks, it looks, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I wish they did a little bit more work with the painting on the body. It looks fine, but I think it looks a little bit plain. A little bit plain, maybe a little bit more shading or something, I don't know. Okay, so this is actually retailing for 6,000 yen, so it's actually 300 yen more expensive than the Beelzemon and Crimson mode. I'm not sure what they were smoking because I think those two are definitely worth more than this because they have more accessories and they they just look fancier. But this one, I think this one, if it's like for like 5,000 yen ish, it'll be a lot better. But uh, we, this is what it is. All right, so let's do a comparison with him and the Omnimon. And just as a reminder, the standard Omnimon is only 4,000 yen. So this is a 2,300 yen more, and it's pretty much coming with the same, uh, I guess, as the P-Bandai tax. But um, yeah, let's do a, do a quick, quick uh, comparison. So obviously, the weapons they are using is different. They're swapped. The Garumon has a cannon in the original one, and then they have, it has the sword in the new Alter S. And for Greymon, it uses the sword, and this one uses cannon. Actually, I guess I guess the new one it's, it's actually a lot bulkier. The heads on the on the uh, fists are more bulky. And the weapons are bulkier too, so I guess I guess that's why. And then the cape. Let's have a look at the cape. The cape feels pretty similar, except it's tattered, obviously. But it is only one color. Whereas for the only one has the two colors. Okay, as I mentioned before, the toes are different. This one has a sharp sharpen sharp it has like jaggy toes this one is just straight pointy toes and for the leg armor there is a gold paint here whereas this one's just plain but on the side this one has the gold paint and this one has uh, just it's just white the head there's a little bit more details on the head for the altar s there's a red and white here Whereas the other one is just a white point, and it's gold here, and then there's a little bit more paint there. So I guess I guess there is a notable difference between them, and uh, obviously this here is, is a lot fancier. It's spikes. And this one is just a shield. And I guess I guess the Kreska Rumon side also is also the same. A little more detail in the layerings. It feels bulkier too for this, this side. All right. All right. I guess this one is is bigger, <laughs> a little bit bulkier. So maybe that's uh, maybe that will that's the reason why it costs more. Probably not. Probably it's probably, it's probably the P-Bandit kind of P band attacks. But uh, yeah. All right. So that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Overall, am I disappointed? Not really. I just wish it wasn't. It didn't cost six thousand yen. I think for five thousand yen, it would be a lot more reasonable. I mean, for me, I'm a sucker. I'm still gonna buy it. But probably a lot more Digimon fans who aren't used to collecting this kind of style of figure will probably think it's too expensive. I think even before for the Alter S, for, for the Crimson Mode and the Blast Mode, people were thinking that was too expensive and didn't opt out to buying it. So obviously, when it's too expensive and people don't want to buy it, Bandai's going to see, Bandai's going to see the numbers that, oh, people don't want to buy this. But I think the real reason is it's just too expensive and people would rather buy something else with the same amount of money. Because for Sailor Moon again, you can buy some pretty good Nendoroids, <laughs> like pretty, like pretty expensive Nendoroids, like decently sat, decently priced Nendoroids, and it comes with a lot more accessories and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys order your Ultra S as well? And if you, if you guys did, what do you guys think? Is it worth your money? Not worth your money? This costs like what used uh, what what an SHF used to cost. So uh, SHF obviously they have uh, increased in price as well. So I guess. In general, the prices of Bandai stuff is just going up. So 
I guess I guess that makes sense. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. But this is Karataku, and I will see you guys next time.